Hey guys, welcome to Naps to another absolute quality No Man's Sky hour by hour update. So we're at 70 hours right now. That's the video you did click on. So the first thing that we always do is go ahead and check out the milestones because that's that's it's easy, gets out of the way. I literally was trying so hard to get to 80 starships. I couldn't find any missions that brought up a starship, nor could I find any out in just space when I was doing stuff. So I literally have one more. That'll be done the next time you see this. Uh, that's not very hard. This one, I'm, I'm progressing very slowly. Uh, the, the, the extreme worlds are actually a pain in the butt to do it. And so it, a soul is actually an entire day on the planet, which doesn't seem like a lot but it, it kind of is because it's a very long time on a really crappy planet so <laughs> gotta just gotta deal with that i am basically halfway there for that one so and i'm almost to the 16 souls as well but everything else i filled filled it all out destroyed all the sentinels heck with those sentinels warped 10 times or not i warped to the 10th milestone as well we're sitting in 93 sitting pretty with those i'm about to 100 once i get to 100 i'm gonna be so happy it's gonna be the best day ever i'm gonna be i can't wait i freaking can't wait let's go ahead and check out the gek so the gek i'm a still i'm still a colleague uh, i don't think anything's changed actually let's just go to viking um the viking i'm a commandant okay i have the greatest freaking thing ever to level up <laughs> the freaking viking pretty sure it works with the gek and the corvax as well but i leveled up very very far i had to do that for a specific reason which i will talk about in a little bit because a lot has changed so let's look at the Corvax here. So the Corvax, yeah, no, never mind. We're not going to check out the Corvax. I haven't done anything for the guilds as well, so basically that's about it for our milestones here. So the first thing that I'd like to show you guys, um, maybe, um, is it in the system? Is, is it in here? It, it isn't. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and not there, but go to here. Okay, you can see all the storm crystals I was farming. So these are seven seven hundred eighty four thousand a piece, almost seven hundred eighty five, um, for for five for a five stack. So with a five stack, this this right here is probably about two mil, three mil, four mil maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna do the math. I haven't I haven't actually turned that in. But uh, going there, you can see that my units are not as high as they were before. So I ended up getting quite a few units. I ended up looking on the wiki and realized that you need like four hundred thousand units for like the best one like an s class so i ended up buying a b class freighter uh, i'm not going to go over to the freighter yet because i kind of just want it to come in um not that no oh, geez um it's huge <laughs> it's it's one of the ones that i didn't want it's freaking massive I have about 15, I have maybe 13 to 15, I don't quite remember that, but the, for the frigates, um, I do have a group of them on, oh, I also, <laughs> god, there's a lot that's changed, I also bought a hauler, I bought a hauler specifically for the farming reasons, I wanted to put stuff in there so that I could have more stuff to sell when I got there, it, it works a lot better for the storm crystals, because once you get all those storm crystals, it just works absolutely fantastic when you get there, so let's head up to the grand old frigate that I bought, and it's freaking huge. So again, there are only some frigates here. I guess I put four on a mission. So how many we got here? You know, one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> I feel like there's one more. Oh, there he is. Six. Okay, so I only have 11. So that's... I overestimated. <laughs> overestimated. But this bad boy is freaking massive. It's like my Star Wars destroyer. So on this ship... We have a few a few things so each of these where are they so each of these things that we're passing right now that is a defense turret there are defense turrets all along the top and that is absolutely beautiful i love that fact i'm not sure about the sides i guess i really i really haven't like taken a good look at the sides can i like turn jeez um maybe there might be i don't know i don't see any i just know that there's a crap load of cargo pods i'm not sure if there's any guns on the bottom oh there are so there are guns on the bottom as well so this place is actually really 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 cool i, I freaking i love my i love my starship let's go ahead and go back out for a little bit here and do a little turn loop break and bam that's it 
<laughs> that's the freighter. Damn, that's freaking nice. Let's go ahead and go to photo mode here real quick. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, I'm going to take a picture of that. <laughs> Use that for the thumbnail. Usually I don't do that mid 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 record, but it's just so beautiful. So the inside's basically the same. Uh, nothing really there. I mean, obviously I could obviously show off a couple of these frigates, but there none of them are really special. And the actual one that is special is on the mission. It's it's on that it's on a 14 14 hour mission. So it's it's not here. It's not here, and it won't be for a while. It will not be for a while. I guess there is one. I guess I need to go on here because there is one ship that I did end up purchasing. So you remember my fighter from the last time, my like teal fighter. I've had it for basically every single episode since like hour 10, 15. I've had it forever. It's gone. Got rid of it. <laughs> so I ended up finding an S-Class fighter and it, it had the same amount of slots. So it really wasn't a huge upgrade, but it was a huge upgrade in damage specifically because I'm pretty sure when like i'm pretty sure that it's why am i shaking what's going on but i'm pretty sure it, the 60 percent is the highest damage rating you can get and 20 percent shield is also the highest so it, it's actually really 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 good <laughs> compared to everything else i i, I really love it um so it, it's you know it's not much it's not much i haven't put any technologies in it yet it's it's still just kind of plain really right now because i kind of just did that <laughs> Kind of, I I was on the planet and I looked at it S class and I was like I gotta have it. See that's only a I, oh that's an A. I didn't realize that was an A class, but that's an A class thirty one plus four. Not really the best, but it's nonetheless whatever. I guess I did need to come up here because I did need to go kind of. I guess I really didn't, but this is basically kind of the setup for right now. I don't really have a whole lot going on. That kind of goes in the back room again. It's it's really it's really not that, but I have Gek leadership in here instead of Viking, so we got some Geks, and then da, 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 what, 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 what what do I want to show? I want to show the freighter itself in the yeah. So here's my freighter. It's the Nana Kabiz, the B MV1. It uh yeah it it's huge. It's absolutely massive. So it's got 30 slots. Big upgrade from my 19 slots from the other one. So it's it's a really nice upgrade. And also, let's go ahead and check out the stats. Oh, I guess it's right here. There's only one. It's a hyperdrive. So the stat, so this B class had a 15% hyperdrive rating. Obviously, an S class would have a way better rating. But for that hyperdrive range, it kind of put, I want to say it put me up to like maybe 115 to 200 light years. So this, this unit is in light years. So I can go 1740 light years away. That's how far I can go at each jump with this guy. And that's basically what I've been doing because he jumps so much more efficient than my actual ship. So with one of these, I can do this with one warp cell, slap it in there. That's a good for five goes. So I can literally warp five times on one warp cell rather than using one warp cell to warp one time in my spaceship. So And it's so much further. So I'm definitely going to be using this to get to the center of the galaxy. It's going to be super nice. So... I do have all three of the reactors. That's kind of why I had to level up to Commandant with the Viking. I had to be rank eight in their sector to be able to get this last one, this A, this uh, A class upgrade. So that's the 800 light years it added onto my thing. So I had 800, I had 300 and 200. So I had 1300 added. So it's pretty good, pretty good. Really, really enjoying my freighter. I, it's coming together. I, I don't have everything completely situated i do want to get all of the uh races filled out in their milestones i want to fill all these out to gold like i do want a couple of them um i want to fill out all of these i'm gonna fill them all out get everything gold so this one i'm already almost there <laughs> halfway at least halfway here too dang look at that i really really want to just kind of gold out everything get 100 percent and everything because this game is actually really fun having a lot of having a lot of fun with it I have one more thing to show you before I go off. I forgot one thing. I got, I finished out the computer archives, so I did end up getting the landing pad. I finished out the computer archives quest. The, it, it was the last, the last quest, I do believe. But anyways, I'll see you in a second. Welcome 
to Tower Erectus. Now, you may understand what that means, but that's kind of, that's a wiener made out of lanterns. I'm not going to fly over and let you see it. But here is the American jewel of this land. So what I have going on there is I had a very big issue with the bricks not loading in. So there's technically two walls. Um, my friend actually joined. He, he discovered this, Sir Fro did. He discovered this place. So this is um, his galaxy. His base is, should be, yeah. His base is right up there. So he's kind of up there. Um, he may think I'm trying to join him and that I'm done with my, yep, see, I knew it, I knew it, he knew I was, uh, but this is an oxygen harvester, you probably know what that is, but this is my nick-nick, god, I cannot talk, it is my nip-nip bud, um, growery, growery, so this is where I am going to grow just countless amounts of nip-nip buds, so I have another source of income, so with each of these, I, I want to say it comes out to about four or five million a harvest if I fill all of the things up and I take them all in at once. So it's actually looking pretty good. So, uh, but anyways, I got some nice lights here, colored lights. But anyways, that is going to be the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and hit the like. And if you'd like to subscribe to see more content from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know you want to, but other than that, I'll see you later.